Hola, como están? And what is going on, guys? Darkskin here, and today I'll be talking to you guys a little bit about console gaming and kind of a question that really popped into my head. I had this discussion a little while ago with somebody and kind of just thinking about it recently, I wanted to discuss this with you guys as well. So the discussion question, is console gaming still as good as it used to be? Now to quickly answer that question, no, it is not. So then it comes a next question, is console gaming still a good thing? And when I mean a good thing, I mean, is console gaming still necessary? Is there still some good with console gaming? And for the most part, when I was discussing this, I found that certain things about console gaming are really not working out so far, but other things are. The great thing about console gaming is that it is still making it easy for those looking to get into video games easy. That's not just including consumers like myself, it's also including parents who are looking into buying a console for their kids. The great thing about console gaming is that whether you buy an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, or a Wii U as well, is that when you buy the console and you buy a game, you know it is going to work. For the most part, most games require some sort of online connection nowadays if they have a multiplayer aspect, and for the most part, because they have an internet connection, you will be able to update the game no matter what. So even if a game does come out broken, it still has a day one patch, which quite possibly could fix a lot of the problems that people have. Sure, you're starting to get a few different things with games nowadays on consoles, but for the most part, if you compare it to PC gaming in which everybody has a completely different setup as another person, for the most part, if you try to play one game on your PC and it works, and you try to play on somebody else's, there is a good chance that the game won't run the same. And it's not just talking about graphically, but it's talking about actually just running the game, launching the game, and having the game work. Some people still have trouble running games on PCs because of the types of setups that they have, but that is not here nor there. To get back onto the topic of console gaming, console gaming is still great. The price is going a little bit up, but the price of games is staying the same. A lot of people really forget that back in the old days when you wanted to buy a Nintendo cartridge, back then the prices were actually higher than $60. For the most part, it was 80. Of course, there is also the question that most games that have a multiplayer aspect or some sort of DLC option, you pay the $60 and they include a season pass which you could play $30 to $40. And that would increase the cost to $100, which would actually pair it up to whatever the cost was of a Nintendo cartridge or a Sega cartridge back then. So prices are kind of remaining the same, but if we're trying to include all the games that are out there, we also need to remember that there are a ton of indie developed games in which the price is not $60 whatsoever. For the most part, console gaming is still a great thing, I believe. It is definitely something that is here to stay, and hopefully console gaming can improve to what it is now in the near future. But that is pretty much it for me today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my quick discussion on console gaming. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And this is one of the topics that I always like to have an open discussion with because there are definitely a lot of things that can be discussed. But I'll leave you guys with that. And as always, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Over.